In the previous video demo, we showed how to assemble a system containing a sheet-like polymer and proteins. The procedure for sheet-like nanomaterials is nearly identical, except that some nanomaterials require image bonds between neighboring cells. To facilitate assembling systems with image bonds, Multi-Component Assembler will interpret any file name ending in image.psf as referring to a periodic component's image bonds. The nanomaterial that we will use is kaolinite. To begin, go to Nanomaterial Modeler and find kaolinite in the Clay Minerals menu. Next, enter 100, 100, and 35 as the box dimensions. Nanomaterial Modeler constructs materials by copying a unit cell up to the target size, which is why the actual box dimensions are slightly larger than the numbers that we entered. To model an infinite sheet, we will make the material periodic along the X and Y dimensions and click Next to generate the material. Because we want to combine the material with proteins, we will download the material's project files before constructing a solvent. To ensure that Multi-Component Assembler properly handles the image bonds, we need to keep the Step 1 nanomaterial.psf and CRD files and the file named image.psf. Drag these three files into the Multi-Component Assembler upload form, as well as the three proteins PSF and CRD files, and click Next. Because the kaolinite that we uploaded is a periodic material, we need to know its exact dimensions. You can find this information in the step one underscore nanomaterial.str stream file as the variable names box X, box Y, and box C. Copy these values into the unit cell dimensions and set the protein concentration. As with the previous examples, we will set the volume fraction of protein within the solvated region to 10%. We choose arbitrarily to find a water thickness close to 50 angstroms that achieves this volume fraction. Click the Calculate System Size button and check that the component counts and system dimensions look reasonable. Click Next to pack the proteins with kaolinite. When it finishes, remember to click View Structure to verify that the packing results look reasonable. We can now choose a solvent composition. The remaining steps are the same as in the previous demos. 